Hello YouTube, this is XNFS for Masters X and I am here to show you how to get free music on your iPhone or iPod Touch using Cydia, Installus and um, what's called Download Pro. You can normally get Download Pro from the App Store but it costs money and I cannot and I'm not going to buy it so we're going to show you how to get the app free and how to get it's this app here. Um, no. See, it is that one there, Download Manager, but it costs two bucks. So we're going to use Cydia and install us to get around that. So, first, what you're going to want to do is go to. Well, you should already have install us, so you would have to. Um, this is just a little thing I have here. So, go to install us. And then this is the new skin. If you haven't got it, this is install us for. And what you're gonna want to do is go to is go to search and look up download manager right there. Download manager. Let me just put the brightness down a bit because it's messing up the camera's focus. And it's that one right there. Oh, that's right, this one here. It's the publisher guy or the um, creator is Ha Dung. You're gonna go there. You're gonna click on. We'll tap on it. And then it's ver the newest version so far is 2.1. It can do a lot. It can even extract extract raw files and everything. And the total file size is 2.1 megabytes. And as you can see, to make sure it's the same one, it's two bucks. Okay. So now you're going to press download. And then don't tap launch app store. It might take a little while to load, depending if you've used this enough to know that. And then you're going to want to tap on one of these icons. Most of the time, file dude is kind of annoying because when you'd have to type in your four digit code that it gives you, the keyboard will keep disappearing because it's still loading things in the background so it'll take you to like another website because there's like advertisements so you'll go you have to want to go to file ape right, it's loading alright so normally it will just pop up saying file ape right there the little monkey tap regular and it's gonna count down big deal they tell you to get a premium account, so you don't have to wait, but what's the difference? It makes you still get the app one way or another. And of course, let, yeah, let's date one. Okay. Alright, so now it's ready. Just tap download. Oh, shoot. Download, and as you can see, it's started. And you can go back. So we've got it downloading. But I just deleted it because I just realized that I already have the app and it might get rid of my music. So, once you have it, it will pop up on the home screen and it will be that. Stupid thing will focus. It well, it will say Download Pro. You'll probably see it anyway because the screen on my camera is small. So, when you go on Download Pro, it will. The first thing will be highlighted on his browser. It might take a few seconds to load. And the best website that I have found to get music is MP3 Raid. So you can tap that little arrow right there until the drop bar comes down. It'll look like it's out of Safari. And type MP3 Raid and dot com. Just press go. It'll it'll just take me to the same website. And then from here you can just download any songs you want. So let's say I want to get, I don't know, what's a song I like? Day and Night. So you just type the song you want, Day and Night. And then there will be a huge list. Most of the time the song you're going to want at the start. If it's not, you might have to scroll through a few pages or so. Um, most of the time, by the time you get to like page 5, you'll never find it again. It's just some weird like... I don't, I don't even know, it's weird stuff at the end. Songs I've never heard of. So, you just tap on the 
tap on your choice. Like here, I just tapped on the first one. Just wait for it to load. Oh, and if you want, you can press this plus. You know, if you want, you can press the plus sign right there. And you can set this as home page. I don't know why I did that, because it set this video as this song as my home page. And at the bottom, you don't want to press download. You want to tap where it says day, night, kid cootie, kid cutie, at the very bottom there. You want to tap the actual writing, not download. And then, this will pop up. And as you can see, you'll know it's the actual file, because at the end it will say mp3. Unless you're downloading a movie. The movie will take longer to download, of course. And at the end of the movie, it should say, I think, MP4 or some or MOV. So you just type, just press download, and oh well, this was a bad one. I don't think this one worked. And as you can see, so you can go to it will pop up on downloads, and it will show that it's downloading. But of course, for some reason, this one's 300 bytes. So I don't think this is a real one. But then you go to it. So let's just say I downloaded preview. All right. Yeah, so you get that. Then you'd go on to files. And then as you can see there, it's day and night. And you just tap on it. Press open. And But the pro an important thought is, you're going to want to do open with custom player. Because when you press open, it just messes up. As you can see, um, it couldn't load it, but it will go to the song that you want. Like for, like you can, it's good because you can load it on. You can have it running on the shuffle, or on a shuffle and repeat. And on the repeat, yeah, you can run have it running on repeat and shuffle at the same time. And then you got the play, pause, back, forward, and you even have the slider. So. You've got like the regular iPod stuff on it. And then you can press back. And you can still, it's beautiful because I'll just do a song for demonstration. Okay. So I've got a dubstep song, That's It Gizmo on. I can still close the screen and it'll still work. So it's like the iPod. And if I don't want my screen to be functioning while I'm walking or something, I can lock the screen as well. So you can see up on lock screen. It won't skip if you shake it, so that's a good feature too. Still running. And just goes straight back to it. So really if anything this is better than the iPod plus it's got a built-in place to download songs. Now if you're gonna wanna organize your files, you're gonna wanna organize your files because some of them will be downloaded and they'll be called like preview which is very annoying because if you have a bunch of files that you haven't renamed yet then that preview thing will kind of get confusing you'll have to open and listen to every song to find out what it's called or to remember what it's called so you're going to want to at the top you want to press edit right there and then you'll see like it'll look like the delete thing you can tap on you can delete it you can move it to a different folder you can make a new folder or you can create a playlist now we don't want to delete it so and then right here it says it's got the pencil mark which means you can rename it and just rename it the right name of the song because like I said it gets really annoying but at the end if you just call it just a song name it won't work you're gonna have to want to put dot mp3 that's the only way it's gonna work because then it's just gonna be a blank file like where is it like that see it's, there's no icon on it it just looks like a piece of paper with a fold on the right side i don't know what song that is so i can't know how to fix that because i forgot what song that was but as you can see here it says there day and night dot mp3 and it's nice and cleaned up for you and it's good because i can still keep shuffling through the songs it's still working so you can have it shuffle through all the songs at the same time and it's a really good app if anything this is better than the regular iPod and iTunes store you you'll definitely get what 
you're looking for and if not then I'll have like one or two other links on like websites that you can use on it as well okay thank you for watching this was XNFS for Masters X and see you next time rate comment subscribe woohoo